Guys, Steve Fit here with FitBully TV. I keep getting the question, which is a good question, and it's a fair question. Why am I keeping the litters separate? Well, first thing is, these are superstars, those are lazy stars. Both the stars, one's gonna shine a little bit brighter, one's gonna take a little bit longer to get that joker to shine. <sighs> these dogs, they're two different dogs. These dogs are highly motivated. I'm gonna show you here in a second. On a part of our study that I put out, or I'm putting out in five years, is cognitive skills are you being able to think about the things that you're doing. And you watch it when you see the videos of the Malinois leaping over rivers or jumping over bushes or jumping on, on a post and even the pit bulls that, and stabilizers are climbing up a ladder. Those are cognitive skills. That's a dog thinking about every step and every move that it's making. These dogs are going to learn that much quicker. And they're already engaged. And I'll show you the difference. I haven't played with any dog. This is actually something I made for Hera. As she about, she about to get into bed, uh, start, I'm about to start harassing her. When I come over here with these dogs, they all start looking up. Not a lot of space right now because we're testing these stairs. And they're like, okay, he's here. They're going to slowly but surely, somebody's going to come over here and check me out. That's what they're going to do. Let me go over, get over here and like, get off of me. She's holding me back. Let me see what's going on, or they might be interested in going up here, but they start showing up. You use something like this here. <laughs> and mind you, they're puppies, so they've been knocked out. When I say knocked out, knocked out. What happens, the beauty about these dogs is they'll turn around and they've been chewing on these things. That's the beauty of it. They've been chewing on this, chewing on this rope, pulling at this thing. This thing was fine the other day. It's literally how it looks, but they've been chewing on it. But what happens is, is they wake up and spurs the glycogen wise, like sugar drops. I wake up, so I wonder what's going on. Then I turn around, look at a bite them. <laughs> I want to say, here, I cut it out. But he just shook off the sleep. What is he doing? He's coming to check me out, like I said. <laughs> literally, clockwork. I knew somebody at some point was going to come and check me out. Cause that's who these dogs are. They're curious. If I sit in here like I do on my stool and spend a little spend a little bit of time, they all come and see me at some point. And I've got the videos where they're just harassing me. They're dead asleep. I like to leave them alone when they're asleep. Now let's go over here and Mayas. Let's see what's the best way. This is the best way to get over. You can go around that way, boss. So, oh, I'm gonna go this way. It's easier to step over. <laughs> Can we just definitely don't want to step on a dog. Normally, if I had the hill over there still, those dogs would get up and start walking over the hill. These dogs are gonna look at me. Look at the joker yawning. And they're doing better slowly but surely. But they're not interested. So here's the thing in life, you want to speed up progression. How do you speed up progression? By surrounding yourself with A-listers. If you hang out with five broke people, you'll be the six. You've heard the same before. These dogs collectively will grow each other. They're already figuring out how to use a bathroom. I'm now, re that's another part of my study, but I said, hmm, that's interesting. These dogs still have not figured out how to use a the bathroom. They've used it a couple times here, but most, for the most part, they're not even motivated to come over the hill to eat at times. We got to the point where by meal six, three out of four out of the five literally made it over this way. But even still, look at that activity. You hear nothing from these dogs unless they're whining a lot of times. I told you our job moving forward is to create athletes, active dogs, and even more importantly, dogs that can do service work, protective work, um, and all that other stuff that we enjoy as far as getting out and doing things that concern swim well, all that stuff. Uh-oh, look, we got them, a couple of them going up the stairs. They, they on stair two. They on stair two. <laughs> Mind you, I start putting the heel in their pin by literally week two. They had a small hill that they had to go over. I wouldn't even attempt <laughs> to do that with these dogs because they would just whine and whine and whine. And one literally whined for almost 45 minutes. So I had to help everybody get over here to eat. She then whined for 45 minutes because she couldn't figure out 
how to get back over the hill. And even worse, she walked way back here, stayed wide, and finally, I just said, okay, let me help her out. As soon as I put her over there, she was calm. These are two different dogs, two different styles, two different breedings done with two different intent. The people want, they want you to believe that the males matter the most, but they've taken on their mother's epigenetics. They're lazy. Y'all know what Ego is. Y'all seen him do uh, some pretty nice things. He's getting better by the second. He's super motivated. He whines because he can't, you know, if he, he doesn't get to get out and play. He, he contributed outside of the color. Maybe a few things, but there's nothing epigenetically that I'm getting out of Ego from this litter. These dogs are five steps behind. Guess what I've said every time? Zara is the dog who makes the difference. What has she done? This is the second time. If he gets up there again, this is the second time he's got up there. What has she done? She's given them the performance uh, and the skills they need to be curious, to be driven, to be motivated. I'm betting on Zara every time I said that already. So what am I gonna do with Hera? I'm gonna bet on Hera because I'm important to her for two years. Two different dogs, people. I, I can't put uh, a bunch of crows with eagles. It would slow down progression. And plus, these dogs would just terrorize these dogs. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, y'all don't want to do nothing? Oh, and the bigger they get, the more confident they get, the more sure they become. These kind of dogs, they, they wouldn't thrive with, with those kind of dogs cohesively. Plus, we're doing a study, guys. We're doing a study. We told you a dog with more bulldog influence is going to do what? Be more reserved be more laid back, be more chill. A dog with heavier terrier influence is gonna be more driven, gonna be more motivated, gonna be more everything. All the things that I look for in a, in a puppy, or in a dog to be clear. These dogs are not motivated, they're just not. Come on. There you go. That's a female right there. So when those people say, hey, I want an ego son. I want an ego kid. Believe me, one thing. It ain't got nothing to do with ego people. How great is your woman? How great is your female? How great is the mother? Because she plays, in my experience, one of the biggest factors in your dog's ability to be successful. Guys, stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. And, uh... I might even put the hill back up over here just so I can show in a short the exact difference in the dogs so you can literally see. Yeah, we might do that. We'll close this episode out with that, guys. Yeah, one second, please. <laughs> Let's talk motivation. I'm going to put every dog on this side of the hill. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> and that's merely because I put them over there. That's the girl that made it first. Two boys. <laughs> This is actually this. I usually put blocks under this thing to help them up on this side because it is almost a right angle. Keep in mind, later in life, your dog is going to show if you don't do a lot of desensitization and overall development, early signs of what? Frustration. Late signs of frustration. What do you do when your dog gets frustrated? I'm looking at who's the most frustrated and who's not. They whined for two seconds, made it overlooked. She got over and she's chilling. We got another one. Made it. We got, we got the young polar bear right here. Mama, my girl, made it. Look at that right there. <laughs> Four weeks old in a day and they don't play. So now we have, come on buddy. We, we, we have basically 90% of the litter that's made it over. 
and he'll make it over at some point. I wanted to show you this because again, my pups, not only have they not gotten over the hill, I left two turkey breasts over here the other day and nobody even attempted to get over the hill. Not one dog. So I'll come over here. Nobody budges. Oh, man. The girl's the one who's the most confident. See that? I simply put a hill up, a barrier between me and them already, and they're, these dogs are just three days younger than those dogs, and they all came over the hill almost immediately. You see what I'm saying, guys? You wanna know why, they're, why, why we're keeping them separate? Because they're not the same dog. And when you're getting dogs from breeders, you need to know what you're getting. And we'll be able to show over five years, especially by the time we really start our bloodline. And our bloodline, AKA our history of doctors and lawyers, per se, will be based on evidence. Evidence where we can show beyond a reasonable doubt what the dogs went through, puppies. <laughs> what the dogs have gone through and then how they improved each time. But I love this type of drive as well, people. Look, for now, stay tuned, take care of your dogs. We're, we're, we're literally putting together a system of breedings based on epigenetics. We don't breed for color, we don't breed for head size, we don't breed for anything other than quality and a good dog. How do you get a good dog? Train up the, train up the dog in the way that it should go, and when he gets old, he would not depart. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people. This might not make sense now, but it'll make sense later.